Did you know that European slang is peppered with Hebrew words? I'm Elon Gilad and I'm obsessed with how language reveals hidden histories. Today we're diving into the secret languages of Europe's criminal underworld and how they brought Hebrew words into everyday European slang. For centuries, European criminals, vagrants, and ne'er-do-wells had secret languages used to speak to one another in a way that cops and normies wouldn't understand. In German, it's known as Rotwelsch. In Dutch, Bauchuns. In Hungarian, Tovlainev. In Polish, Gipsera. These languages are based on the regular national language with words borrowed from various sources, notably Yiddish. Because many Jews, often excluded from mainstream society, found themselves in the criminal underworld, they contributed greatly to the language of crime. While the use of these secret languages has declined significantly over the years, some of the vocabulary had seeped into everyday slang. And since Yiddish is full of Hebrew, we now have Hebrew words hiding in plain sight in European languages. Let's hear some examples, starting with Dutch. Here's Naftali. My neef zit al drie jaar in de bias. This means my cousin has been to jail for three years, using the slang term for jail, bias, which comes from the Hebrew word for house, bait. Iemand heeft mijn fiets gejat. This means someone stole my bike, using the verb yat, which comes from the Hebrew word for hand, yad. Hij had stiekem een koekje voordat het avondeten klaar was. This means he secretly ate a cookie before dinner was ready. The word for secretly here comes from the Hebrew word for silence, shtika. Moving on to Hungarian, here's Judith. This means he's my buddy. The word for buddy comes from the Hebrew word for friend, chavel. This means I was lucky. The word for lucky here comes from the Hebrew word for luck, mazal. This means I'm very gloomy today. The word for gloomy, mis, comes from the Hebrew word for disgust, mius. Next, here's Beata with Polish. This means it was a typical fraud. The word for fraud here comes from the Hebrew word for dispute, machloket. This means do you have a nickname. The word for nickname here comes from the Hebrew word for writing, tiva. Finally, in German, here are Hannah and Ilya. Pass auf, da kommt ein Schmier. This means watch out, there's a cop coming. The word for cop comes from the Hebrew word for guarding, Shmira. Er hat einen guten Reibach gemacht. This means he made a good profit. The word for profit here comes from the Hebrew word for profit, Revach. So next time you use slang in these languages, remember, you might be speaking a bit of Hebrew. Now you know.